We see strangulations all the time at Tessa. Um, it's not something that is a surprise to us. Nancy Duke is a victim advocate with Tessa, a local nonprofit dedicated to helping the victims of domestic violence. Nancy says eight strangulations in one month is a lot, but not unheard of. We see this typically this number of strangulations reported. I think it's you may be seeing it more because the police are reporting it. In a domestic violence situation, Nancy says strangling usually follows hitting and shoving the next step in the physical fight. When it escalates to the strangulation, it's that offender trying to gain control of that relationship. Nancy says many times offenders and their victims don't know how deadly strangulations can be. She says a person can become unconscious in four to five seconds and can be killed in four to five minutes. A lot of the injury is on the inside of the neck. A lot of strangulation victims report that they have trouble swallowing. Um, it hurts to swallow. They have trouble breathing. Even if a victim feels feels okay right after the strangulation. Nancy says a person can still die up to 72 hours later, depending on the injuries. Just one of the many reasons she says it's important to seek help if you're in an abusive relationship. Please reach out and call the crisis line. There's somebody there 24 hours a day, seven days a week that's willing to talk to you.